Welcome to Module 8. In this module, we'll look at chemical hazards and controls before moving on to cover a range of other on-site hazards. For a chemical to cause harm, it must come into contact with or enter the body. The main entry routes are absorption through contact with bare skin or eyes, inhalation, breathing in chemicals, ingestion, swallowing chemicals, and injection, puncturing the skin, allowing a chemical to enter the body. Once the chemical is in the body, it's distributed by the bloodstream, so it can affect where it entered the body, as well as other systems and organs throughout. Some of the main hazards associated with chemicals include exposure to some substances can lead to the development of asthma or trigger an asthma attack. Other substances can be carcinogenic, meaning exposure can lead to an increased risk of developing cancer. Many can damage the skin, and some can cause severe long-term damage to the lungs. The effect of exposure can be immediate, such as dizziness or stinging eyes, or it can take many years to develop, as in the case of lung disease. Many of the long-term or chronic effects cannot be cured once they develop. Remember that health hazards are not limited to substances labelled hazardous. Some harmful substances can be produced during work processes. For example, wood dust from sanding or silica dust from tile cutting. Skin sensitizers are either chemicals or proteins in natural materials which cause people to develop an allergic reaction. Typically, these include respiratory disorders such as asthma and skin disorders such as dermatitis and eczema. There is a wide range of sensitizers, from pigeon droppings, which can cause psittacosis, also known as parrot flu, a type of lung infection, to latex, resins, plastics, antibiotics, disinfectants, solvents, and certain kinds of dust. Avoid working with sensitizers whenever possible, but if you have to, follow good basic hygiene, including regular hand washing with nail brushes. Avoid hand-to-mouth or eye contact, and always take rest breaks, including meals and drinks away from the work area. If appropriate, use a fume hood or other type of engineering control. You can control the amount of dust getting into the air by wetting down the work area. You should also consider using plastic sheeting to prevent contamination from spreading. Depending on the type of work, you should wear protective clothing, such as gloves, waterproof footwear, or a respirator. Employers should provide easy access to alcohol-based hand sanitizers throughout the site. The alcohol quickly kills most germs that exist on the hands and skin, making it a quick, effective method of disinfection, until a more thorough hand washing can be done. If you have dirt on your hands, the hand sanitizer will not penetrate through and kill off the germs, in which case the best option is to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Your workspace should be cleaned regularly using a dust-free method. That means vacuum rather than sweep. Before you use any cleaning chemicals or chemical products, always read the manufacturer's data sheet and COSH assessment to make sure it's appropriate and safe to use. Please click Next to continue. Here are some steps you can take to avoid ill health when working on site. Wash your hands regularly with soap and running water to prevent infection from cuts and grazes and skin disease. Keep wounds covered to avoid the risk of infection. Use gloves or barrier creams to help prevent skin infections. Control food waste products and dispose of them correctly to prevent vermin infestation. Taking rest breaks, including meals and drinks, away from the work area. And cover all cuts 
abrasions and other breaks in the skin with waterproof dressings or gloves. Common work-related health hazards include Files disease, a severe form of leptospirosis, a type of bacterial infection. You can contract it if you come into contact with the urine, blood or tissue of animals or rodents that are infected with the bacteria. Tetanus, a serious illness caused by Clostridium bacteria and affects the nervous system. The bacteria live in soil, saliva, dust and manure. Dermatitis, a common skin condition that has many causes and occurs in many forms. Asthma, a condition in which your airways narrow and swell and produce extra mucus. This can make breathing difficult and trigger coughing, wheezing and shortness of breath. Other health hazards. Irritants, which may cause inflammation and sensitizing, which can cause allergic reactions, is represented by the exclamation mark icon. Carcinogenic substances, such as asbestos, should be well signposted and mutagenic substances which may induce genetic defects and be harmful to reproduction share the same symbol as carcinogenic substances. Please click next to continue.